Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive. Let's look at a business lease and how much that lease would cost us if we were to salary sacrifice it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel folks, JD here again. Um, if you're new to the channel, this channel is all about car finance and getting, trying to get people better educated in terms of PCP, HP, leasing, and more recently salary sacrifice schemes for electric vehicles because they are extremely popular at the moment due to the very low benefiting kind tax of 2%, which will be with us until at least 2025. So. A bit like some of the videos in the past that I've done, some of you may be familiar with them. We're going to take a car at random. Um, I say random, I've chosen the Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive. Um, but we're going to look at how much it currently would cost to lease that car, assuming no deposit, assuming 10,000 miles a year and assuming a term of 36 months. And then we're going to run it through the uh, salary sacrifice spreadsheet which you can get a copy of if you wish for a one-off donation of £10. You can email me at the address shown on the screen. Um, and we're going to look at the potential savings if we were to salary sacrifice. So let's take a look. So what we're going to do is nip over to Lease Loco. No affiliation with Lease Loco, but it's a website I use all the time because it enables you to get a very up-to-date and accurate um, overview of the market and it lets you compare different leasing companies. So do check it out. It's really, really useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Now, I'm going to assume that um, this is a salary sacrifice scheme. So we're going to use a business lease quote we're going to assume that we can claim back 50 percent of the vat on the rental element and if we go that far and we look at maintenance we're going to assume that we can claim back the full 100 percent vat on the maintenance element then we're going to look at how much it would cost to how much would be taken from an employee's gross salary how much their net pay would be and we're also going to consider whether we also want to pass on some or all of the company national insurance saving which is made when an employee salary sacrifices something. So let's go to business and we're going to search for a Model Y. Here we go. So I'm just going to have to get my monitor out of the way. Let me just move him out of the way. There we go. Right. So Tesla Model Y lock. Um, now, when you're looking at these, Lease Leco is really good because it will give you this indication. So if, you, if I click on here, look, it says it's a hot deal, 88. So it says here, look, Lease Loco is all about letting our powerful car lease comparison algorithm find you the hottest deals. We've ranked this deal as having a Loco score of 88 out of 100. Anything in the 80s currently represents amazing value. OK, so it's obviously it's quite a good time to lease a Tesla, certainly with the recent price reductions. Now, it's coming up with an indicative price of 354 a month now. That is based on a certain deposit. And as I said at the start, we don't want to have any deposit. We just want to do what we'd call as a one plus 35. So one monthly, uh, one monthly payment as our deposit, if you like, and then 35 equal payments. So if we go to configure car, I'm going to choose three years, but I'm going to choose one month's initial payment. Now, obviously, the price will rocket because we're not putting in a big deposit. That's changed it now to four. Oh, it's not too bad. Four thirty three thirty nine. But I'm also going to change the mileage to ten thousand. That's really good. So that is currently showing, and today's date is the fifth of March, twenty twenty three. That's coming out at four eighty eight oh one for three years, excluding VAT, and that will be without maintenance. Okay. So the question is, if you wanted to salary sacrifice this so set up a scheme potentially um oh this is quite good luck if you ever looking if you've got your eye on a car you can save the car to your own account and lease loco will notify you via email when the price has changed so that's quite useful so we want to take this now there are plenty of what i would call all-in-one solutions if you like for salary sacrifice um, and they include everything maintenance car insurance everything um, do check those out. But what I'm doing is I'm just looking at a straight business lease and how much that would cost us to salary sacrifice. And then you would take out your own insurance. So 
48801. So what does that mean in terms of salary sacrifice? So as I said at the start, if you're VAT registered and if it's not a pool car, you can claim back, you can't claim back all of the VAT, but you can claim back 50% of the VAT. So a rule of thumb, easy way of doing this, is let's just add 10% VAT onto this rather than 20. So let's just go to Excel. Um, and I'm just going to, let me just make a new tab for the sake of this. Right. So let's say we've got 48801 times 1.1. So the actual amount that we could technically salary sacrifice, you can salary sacrifice what you like, but if we were charging an employee, if you like, um, an amount to salary sacrifice this particular vehicle, it would be 53682. OK, assuming that we're going to claim half the VAT back. Now, obviously, the amount that's physically taken from the company's bank account, obviously, each month would include all of that. But we would claim back 50 percent when we do our VAT return, etc. So 536.81. So this is unmaintained. So let's go to the salary sacrifice spreadsheet. And this is as at. Um, let me just get this right. This is, yeah, so this is as at April 2023 because the national insurance rates are changing um, from April. No, they're not. The national insurance, keep up with this, the national insurance rates changed again last November after they changed again last April and then July. Um, but what is changing in April is the 45% tax band is coming down to anything over 125k per year from 150. So if you're a high earner, this will make more difference to you from April. Um, compared to those of us who don't earn £125,000 a year or more. So if you've never seen the spreadsheet before, all you do is you put your tax code in. So let's assume we're, we've got a standard tax code, which is currently 1257L. And let's say for the sake of argument, our salary is £40,000 a year. And you can plug in other things such as non-taxable income expenses, other pension schemes, other salary sacrifice elements, that kind of thing. But we're going to assume we're, we're not going to include anything else. So we've got a £40,000 salary, which would net us about £2,600, according to this spreadsheet. There we go. OK, so let's say we want to sacrifice an element of that of our gross salary, our gross £40,000 a year. And we want to lease this Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive. This will be standard spec. So this will be standard wheels, standard white colour. So we're going to put in our figure, which was 53681. So we go over here. Look. Let's make sure you can see this. Bear with me. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, OK, fine. So um, you can also put in a car allowance if your employer or if you're an employer who gives out car allowances, you can put that on as well. But we're going to assume not. Our car salary sacrifice amount is going to be 53681. So this is per year. So 53681 times 12. So that brings our salary down, our gross salary for tax purposes, to 33558 And we're salary sacrificing 6441 for our Tesla Model Y. Now, as I said at the start, um, up until 2021, there was no benefit in kind payable on electric vehicles at all. Then it went to 1%. And then from 22 to 25 it's locked at 2% and we don't yet know what it's going to be from 2025. Now, vehicle excise duty comes in on electric vehicles from 2025. So who knows, benefiting kind may increase as well. What is benefiting kind? Well, on electric vehicles at the moment, it's 2%. So you put in the P11D value, essentially the purchase price um, for this exercise of, let's say, how much is a Model Y? I think they're about, let's say it's 50K won't make a lot of difference. So 50k. And then we can put in our BIK rate, which as I said, is 2%. So basically, a £1,000, which is 2% of 50k, comes off our tax code. So our new tax code becomes 1157L rather than 1257L, which means we're going to pay about £200 a year in tax because it's not £1,000, it's £1,000 multiplied by your tax rate. Now, we are in this example, a standard tax rate payer, we're earning £40,000 a year. So 
basically our company car tax is £200 a year. So let's look at our new net pay. So our new net pay is 222031. That car has cost us £381.70 a month down from 53681. Obviously, if you were a personal lease person, if that makes sense, and we paid the full VAT, we would be paying more like what 570 a month. So it's a really good saving, and that's just on a standard 20% taxpayer. Now, what you can also do, as it says on the spreadsheet here, look, it tells us that we are, let me get this right, we're going to save uh, 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 £90.70 a month in income tax and £64.42 a month in national insurance. The company is going to save £74.08 a month in company national insurance because we're saving 13.8% company NI on the amount sacrificed. However, the company will pay national insurance on the benefit, which is basically 13.8% of the benefit, which is £1,000 or 2% of the purchase price. So, yes, the company, is a, if we were an employer, we're going to save £74.8 in company NI, but we're going to pay £11.50 uh, company NI on the benefit. So that's something to be wear, bear in mind. However, if you were a very nice company and you wanted to incentivise people, you could say, right, well, I'm going to pass on that £74.08 saving as well. So we can put 100% in there. And what that does look is it passes on the full company NI saving back to the member of staff. Now, you can't pass on £74.08p net. So that £74.08 goes back onto the gross salary. And then the employee pays tax and NI on that. But they are still better off. So if we pass on, so let's take that off a minute. So their net pay was 2220 and the car was costing them 38170. If we pass on the company NI saving, uh, it becomes 2270 net pay and 331 for a Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive. Now you might say, well, I'm not going to pass it all on because I've got to pay company and I on the benefit so maybe you pass on 75 percent it still means that that car is only costing them 343.92 okay very good now if maintenance was added on um i don't know whether i can get a price for maintenance it doesn't often give you maintenance on the lease loco website you have to often go directly to the lease company's site but it, let's say it's about 30 quid a month, X VAT. So we can charge £30 a month, if you like, to the member of staff because we can get all of the VAT back on the maintenance element. So let's say it was fully maintained. So let's say rather than it being um, 5.36, 81 a month, let's say it's 5.70. So 5.70 times 12. So that means that car would cost £364 a month. Fully maintained, Tesla Model Y, 10,000 miles a year, with no deposit. That's crazy. That is really good. And that's assuming we're passing on 75% of the company NI saving, if we don't pass anything on, which we're not obliged to do. Still £404. Now that's for a 20% taxpayer. Watch what happens when we earn more money. When we earn more money, we obviously enter the higher rate tax ban, which means anything we sacrifice is sacrificed... Sorry, the saving on the sacrifice is more. So let's say we earn £60,000 a year. That car now is only going to cost the employee 363 And if we pass on some or all of the NI, so we pass it all on, it's going to cost them 318 Tells us on the spreadsheet there, look, it's a 44% saving. If we pass on, say, 75% of the company and I, 329. So 42% saving, roughly, if you're a 40% taxpayer. And if we're a 20% taxpayer, it's going to be about 36% saving. Now, here's the interesting thing. 
If you earn over, and I've said this time and time again, so apologies if you've already heard this, if you earn more than £100,000 a year, for every £2 you earn over £100,000 a year, your personal allowance is reduced by a pound. So if you earn £125,000 a year, you end up with no personal allowance. So if we were earning £125,000 a year, look, our personal allowance effectively goes down to 7L. So we've got a personal allowance of £70 a year. So our net pay on 125k would be about £6,300. And if we were to sacrifice the same amount as we looked at previously, which was Model Y, rear-wheel drive, 10,000 miles a year, fully maintained, um, our tax personal allowance goes up. So our tax allowance has now gone up by about £2,000 a year which means we have got that car effectively for a 62% discount because we've pulled back some of our personal allowance because we've sacrificed some of it and we've ended up with a really cheap car. Okay, Because we had no personal allowance before, we've now got some of our personal allowance back. You could say, do you know what? I'm going to sacrifice £2,000 a month. I don't know what electric vehicle you'd get for £2,000 a month. But I'm going to have, let's say, a Porsche Taycan with every single extra on it. Let's say that's going to be £24,000 a year salary sacrificed. So our personal allowance look has almost gone right back up. Because we're now earning, for tax purposes, £101,000 a year. So we're £1,000 over the £100,000 threshold. And if you remember what I said earlier, for every £2 over, your personal allowance comes down by a pound. So we're £1,000 over, which means our personal allowance has now only been reduced by £500. If we were to pass on the whole company NI saving, that car that was costing us £2,000 a month is actually only costing us £633 a month. Now, what HMRC may do is they may say, well, that's a benefit of £24,000 a year. Um, actually, no, they probably wouldn't. What they might say is they say, well, you've got a benefit there of £1,000 a year. So that might go on to your gross income. So your salary for tax might be £102,000 a year rather than 101 I would check that out. I've never done this myself, so I'm not in the fortunate position to do this. Um, but however it's worked out, you can see here, if you were to bring yourself back in to that £100,000 gross salary, so you've got all your personal outs back again, and this works for pension contributions as well, you can effectively get a car for almost 70% discount. So that was based on a Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive. Um, do check out Lease Loco. Like I say, no affiliation, but it's a brilliant website if you're looking for personal leasing or business leasing. Um, what it will do, look, is it will tell you if I go on here, um, if I go to view deals, look, if I click on here, it will bring up all the different prices so you see how varied it is some are going at 540 520 506 488 with the price that we've just used um, now what we could do as a curiosity if i go to if we look at who this site is if i can get to it car parison so if i go to car parison direct now we might be able to get a price with the maintenance element so let's have a look. So if we go Model Y, oh, Model Y, where is it? Try again. There we go, Model Y. Okay, so let's come back again. Let me just change that to business. Here we go. So Tesla Model Y in stock as well. So you get one of these pretty quickly. So let's have a look at this view deal. Right, remember we want to do 10,000 miles a year, one month up front. There it is, 48801. 
but we can actually add colors on here as well so let's say if we want to make it black how much would that bring it up to 518 so about 30 pounds a month for the color that's the only problem with leasing 30 pounds a month just to have a different color let's take that off right can we add maintenance on i'm not sure we can no some websites will let you add maintenance on as well but it's usually about 30 pounds a month roughly plus fat okay anyway so i hope that was interesting um definitely a good time to lease a model y the reason i was looking is because i'm looking at getting out of my model 3 into model y um if possible so i was just curious to see how much they currently are as i said if you want a copy of that spreadsheet you just see me using um email me here you can also get a copy of my pcp hp calculator which lets you work out your own agreements uh settlement calculations um voluntary termination points that kind of thing again that's a one-off payment of 10 pounds we also do have um the app which is 14.99 let's see if i can show you that it runs in the open app container you can download it for android or ios and it does everything that both the electric vehicle salary sacrifice spreadsheet and the HP PCP salary sacrifice, uh, sorry, PCP HP spreadsheet does. Um, and it looks like this. So you can do all sorts of things on here. And the nice thing about it is obviously whenever I make an update, it will um, automatically push the update to you. But it's got loads of tabs. Um, you can do all sorts of things on here, um, running costs for an electric vehicle, comparing it with petrol, diesel, that kind of thing. Um, so if you want a copy of that as well, as I say, again, fling me an email here and you'll get instructions as to how to purchase a copy. Thanks for taking time to watch this. I hope it was interesting. Take care. See you next time.